Hey everyone, we know the animal kingdom is full of crazy creatures. Few animals are as feared as reptiles. Located on every continent except Antarctica, many of them are relatively harmless, although there are some that are known to be deadly. So join me, we're going to take a look at 15 of the most dangerous reptiles in the world. Number 15. The Pygmy Rattlesnake The Pygmy Rattlesnake. It's pretty small, but it's pretty cool. It's found throughout the southeastern United States, and it's got very three similar subspecies, with all of them coming in at just a half meter long. Now, generally speaking, they spend their days feasting on small animals such as insects, frogs, lizards, and mice. Yet, in order to catch these animals, they make use of an extremely potent venom. Thankfully, us humans are saved by the fact that their small size causes them to produce too little venom to kill us. However, it doesn't mean that their bites don't cause excruciating pain. Since their venom is a cytotoxin, it attacks its victim's cells. This cytotoxin is so potent that it's been known to keep people hospitalized for days on end, causing severe necrosis. So while these little guys may seem innocent enough, I'd suggest that you keep your distance from them if you ever encounter one in the wild. Number 14. Gila Monsters Of all the reptiles in North America, few are as feared as the Gila Monster. Located in the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexican state of Sonora, it stands apart for being the only venomous lizard native to the United States, and it comes in at a respectably large 55 centimeters in length. However, what truly makes this lizard a terror is its bite. Now, while Gila monsters are relatively slow creatures, they nonetheless have the ability to dispose of their small prey without their venomous bite. While this venom is strong enough to kill most animals, it's not potent enough to kill a healthy human. Although it doesn't mean that this venom is not dangerous. Described as feeling like hot lava coursing through your veins by famous YouTuber and wildlife educator Coyote Peterson, the bite is generally believed to be the most painful of any vertebrate, and it's known to be deadly enough to kill humans who are sick, intoxicated, or don't treat it properly. As such, these Gila monsters are by and large one of the most dangerous lizards out there, so be careful. Number 13. The Alligator Snapping Turtle while the alligator snapping turtle is far less dangerous than most venomous snakes or constricting anacondas, it nevertheless holds the distinction of being the world's most dangerous turtle. Found along the Mississippi River in the United States, the alligator snapping turtle is rather intimidating as its sharp beak, pointy shell, long tail, and somewhat strange body make it a true standout. However, what really makes this turtle unique is its size and ferocity. They can come in at a weight of up to 135 kilograms. These turtles are quite big, and they use that weight to overpower fish, squirrels, mice, opossums, raccoons, and armadillos. Once they catch its prey, an alligator snapping turtle will chomp down on it with its super strong jaws. Those jaws will make them a danger to humans, too. This is because while alligator snapping turtle attacks are rare, they will bite if they feel threatened, and there are multiple reports of them snapping off everything from fingers to tendons when someone gets too close. So I'd suggest giving this turtle some extra space next time you see it in the wild. Number 12. The Allosaurus When it comes to dinosaurs, the Allosaurus was a true globetrotter. It's found in places as diverse as Tanzania, Utah, and Siberia. The Allosaurus lived between 145 and 155 million years ago, and by all accounts was one of the strongest predators in its day. Coming in at a length of up to 13 meters, height of up to 5 meters, and weight of about 1.5 tons, the Allosaurus was known for being fierce, as is evident from the fact that their bodies generally show evidence of several battle scars. And while the Allosaurus clearly got into its fair share of tussles, it was almost always victorious, with this being the case thanks to its powerful hind limbs and large tail that allowed it to chase down and easily kill its prey. Once it had a victim in sight, the Allosaurus would then use its sharp and serrated teeth to catch dinosaurs in its grasp. And there's even some evidence that the Allosaurus would attack its prey by using its head like a hatchet, repeatedly slashing with an open mouth so as to impale its victims. So I think it is fair to say that this dino was not one to mess with. Number 11. The Western Taipan When it comes to deadly snakes, the Western Taipan is a bit of an anomaly. This is because while many venomous snakes are well documented, the Western Taipan remained elusive for almost a century. You see, back in 1879 and 1882, it was spotted and described by Europeans for the first time. Yet after this, it completely disappeared from academia for over 90 years. However, in 1972, it was finally rediscovered, and ever since, it's been the subject of fascination for scientists. 
found in inland Australia. It lives in the areas that are not frequented by many humans, and when it meets humans, it generally tends to be shy and reclusive. However, in the off chance that it is threatened by a human, the western Taipan strikes its victims like no other. This is because its venom has a medley of neurotoxins, procoagulants, and mycotoxins that paralyze muscles, inhibiting breathing, causing the hemorrhaging of blood vessels and tissues, and induce kidney failure, with the results being so bad that the victims die more than 80% of the time when envenomated. And while the western Taipan's bite can be treated with the anti-venom made from the far less deadly coastal Taipan, it is far less effective than it is on the snake that it's intended for, meaning this anti-venom far from guarantees that you'll survive an encounter with this deadly reptile. Number 10. The King Cobra While there are plenty of venomous snakes out there, the one that reigns supreme is the King Cobra. It's native to areas across Central and Eastern Asia. These snakes can grow to a massive 5.5 meters in length, and unlike most snakes, they feed almost entirely on other snakes. And while this diet means that they explicitly avoid humans whenever possible, if threatened, the king cobra will not hesitate to defend itself. A king cobra will spread out its neck flap, raise its head, and hiss a warning if it decides to strike, and it's quick and efficient, often lunging high and fast at its victim in order to deliver a potentially deadly bite. I say potentially deadly because these snakes carry a cocktail of cytotoxins and neurotoxins that attack a victim's neurosystem, and the effects of these toxins are so bad they can bring out a series of awful side effects such as nerve pain, blurred vision, paralysis, and in some bad situations, a cardiovascular collapse, a coma, and even death. While there is thankfully an anti-venom, it's far from foolproof, as while the fatality rate is between 50 to 60 percent for those who are untreated, it's still an astounding 28% for those who are. So I think it goes without saying that King Cobra is a snake that should be given a lot of personal space. Number 9. The Green Anaconda While Sir Mixalot may claim that my anaconda don't want some unless you got buns hun, the reality is that anacondas will consume human buns only in the rarest of situations. Found throughout South America, green anacondas are considered to be the heaviest and likely one of the longest snakes in the world, as they come in at up to 9 meters in length and can weigh 250 kilograms. For reference, that's nearly as long as a school bus and heavy as an adult grizzly bear. While unfortunate for their victims, they use their size to their advantage. They're known for their ability to constrict. Their go-to method of bringing down prey is to clamp down on them with their strong jaws and wrap around them, applying pressure until the victim suffocates. Once dead, the green anaconda will then swallow its victims whole, even going so far as to dislocate and detach its jaw in order to bring in prey much larger than itself. Thankfully, green anacondas only eat once every few weeks, and while hungry, they tend to prey on deer and capybaras and large birds rather than humans. However, green anacondas are one of the only snakes that has the ability to hunt and kill a human. And while attacks are rare, by many accounts, they will eat humans if they're extremely hungry. However, so long as you keep your distance when around fully grown green anacondas, you should be safe. Number 8. Lulong the Crocodile Saltwater crocs, they're pretty massive beasts, as they usually grow to around 4.5 meters in length and can weigh in at about 450 kilograms. However, Lolong put this average to shame when he was captured live in the Philippines in September of 2011. Before his capture, Lolong had earned himself a pretty sour reputation. A suspected man-eater, it was believed that Lolong was behind the deaths of both a local fisherman and a 12-year-old girl and as a result, most townspeople wanted him gone for good. This led to a massive manhunt, or should I say crocodile hunt, for the creature, and after about three weeks, he was finally discovered. Unfortunately for the crocodile hunters, he was anything but compliant, and despite the fact that a hundred people were involved in his capture, he managed to break the restraints holding him back a total of two times during the ordeal. However, once he was finally landed, he measured in at an astounding 6.17 meters, making him by far the largest saltwater crocodile ever found. However, rather than be shot, he was instead put inside of a local zoo enclosure, where he became very docile and seemingly lost his aggression due to the stress of him being captured. Sadly, this stress perhaps contributed to Lo Long's lifespan, as he only lived for about 18 months in captivity before succumbing to illness. However, to this day, he's still well remembered by the local villagers. Number 7. Nile Crocodiles While there are plenty of dangerous crocodile species out there, the one that holds the honor for being the world's most dangerous is the Nile Crocodile. 
Responsible for about 300 attacks on humans each and every year, they're a menace in the 26 African countries they inhabit. This can mostly be attributed to their size and aggressiveness. Coming in at up to 4.2 meters in length and up to 750 kilos in weight, they are the apex predator in their habitat and as a result have no qualms about attacking and successfully taking down anything that gets in its way. But generally speaking, Nile crocodiles achieve that objective by ambushing prey for hours, days, or even weeks, waiting for the perfect opportunity to pounce. Then they deliver a super strong bite that's all but impossible to loosen while lowering their prey underwater, causing it to drown and therefore be far easier to gobble up. So Nile crocodiles, they're truly a major threat to the safety of anyone who lives or travels near an African body of water. So it should also be noted that if authorities aren't careful, there is a very real possibility that Nile crocodiles will have a new home in North America. This is because the U.S. has a very large exotic animal trade, and in South Florida in particular, there are several that have been found in its waters. So unless you're looking for a hard time, I'd suggest staying far away from the swamps of Southern Florida in the United States. Number 6. The Spinosaurus while the T-Rex is certainly the most hyped up dinosaur out there, many argue that the Spinosaurus was far more dangerous. Living about 99 to 93 and a half million years ago, it was about 18 meters in length and weighed about 20 tons, which for reference is about as long as two school buses and as heavy as four elephants. In terms of looks, its narrow skull, whale-like hips, spindly neck, and paddle-like feet probably made it look pretty strange. Yet it was exactly these features that made it an efficient predator. You see, unlike most land dinosaurs, it was semi-aquatic, and since it hailed from a predator-filled area of modern-day northern Africa known as the Delta of Danger, the Spinosaurus was able to traverse those swamps that many other dinosaurs could not in order to snack on its unsuspecting prey. These efforts were assisted by its long tail, which, due to its oar-like shape and mix of interlocked vertebrae, acted very differently to that of a fish and may have been used as a weapon to knock out prey. To top this off, the Spinosaurus also had long extensions of its backbone, connected with skin and formed into a sail-like structure. Their exact purpose is unknown, although many believe that they were used to either regulate body temperature or act as a display piece to attract members of the opposite sex during mating season. So while the Spinosaurus was certainly strange, it was also an S-tier predator that was not to be messed with. Number 5. Megalania Australia is a country that's never gotten a break. After all, from the time of the dinosaurs until today, it's been filled with dangerous creatures. Yet in the prehistoric past, one of the scariest creatures to grace the continent was a lizard known as the Megalania. Coming in at a length of 8 meters and weighing 2,300 kilos, it was a giant monitor lizard that weighed as much as 10 fully grown American alligators, making it an absolute menace. Generally speaking, it would spend its days dining on large marsupials, flightless birds, and giant turtles, eating as much as 45 kilos of meat per day in order to keep up its figure. In order to overpower its prey, it would generally use its tongue to track its prey's movements, ambush it by running at it in short bursts, and then use its venomous bite to quickly put it out of its misery. Now, what's interesting about the Megalania is that despite likely being around during the time of the dinosaurs, it also managed not just to look like them, but also outlive them, with the species going extinct only about 50,000 years ago. Interestingly enough, this makes them young enough to have been seen by the aboriginal tribes of Australia. And as crazy as it may seem, some of these indigenous tribes have oral legends that likely feature this incredible creature, making them the subject of some of the oldest oral legends in human history. So I think it's fair to say that the Megalania has had an impact that continues to be felt to this day. Number 4. Reticulated Pythons While green anacondas may be the world's most dangerous snakes, reticulated pythons aren't far behind them. While often confused with boa constrictors, the distinction between the two is that pythons live in old world continents such as Asia and Africa, while boa constrictors live in new world continents such as North and South America. With anacondas being a subgroup of the boa constrictor family, generally speaking, reticulated pythons are significantly smaller than their anaconda counterparts, generally coming in at a maximum length of between 6.5 and, and 7 meters, and a maximum weight of about 75 kilos. However, while this may be small in relation to the anaconda, it's still enough heft for these creatures to take down their fair share of humans. Like the anaconda, reticulated pythons hunt using a bite and constrict method. They tend to avoid eating humans in favor of other tasty treats such as monkeys, wild pigs, and deer. 
Yet from time to time, they will take down human victims at a rate that seems to be greater than that of anacondas. And while a quick Google search will flood you with results of pythons killing humans, one of the most recent deaths happened in October of 2022. The story goes that a woman by the name of Jara was on her way to work as a tree tapper at a rubber plantation in Indonesia, when out of nowhere she was ambushed by a python and swallowed whole. When officials found the python later that afternoon, they found her inside the snake's belly. They cut it open to find her body completely intact, yet most certainly not alive. So I think you'd agree, reticulated pythons, they're anything but harmless. Number 3. The Tyrannosaurus Rex Of all the dinosaurs out there, none are quite as iconic as the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Translating to tyrant lizard in English, this massive dino existed right before the extinction of the dinosaurs about 66 million years ago, and by all accounts it was an apex predator. Growing to about 12 meters in length, 4 meters in height, and weighing about 5 tons, it was physically larger than a full-grown African elephant, and it used that size to terrorize the area that is now western North America. Beyond its size, the T-Rex also made use of strong thighs and a powerful tail that allowed it to counterbalance its large head and run at speeds of up to 40 kilometers an hour. As you might expect, this speed allowed T-Rex to chase down its prey quite easily and then chomp down on it with its impressive set of teeth. Measuring in at as much as 30 centimeters in length, these teeth were both serrated and wide and were arranged in such a way so that they could withstand the force of a struggling dinosaur. In fact, these teeth were so good at their job, they could take down 230 kilograms of flesh in a single bite, ensuring that their prey couldn't get away. Many experts also believe that the T-Rex's arms may have played a larger role in how it interacted with its environment. That's because while many internet memes ridicule the T-Rex's arms for being tiny, they were in fact quite large, coming in at up to a meter long and able to carry up to 180 kilograms. Therefore, it's not hard to see why the T-Rex was one of the world's most fascinating dinosaurs. Number 2. Komodo Dragon While dinosaurs may no longer roam our planet, Komodo dragons may just be the closest creature we have to these prehistoric predators. Found on the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gilimotang, they are the world's largest lizards, coming in at a length of up to 3 meters and a weight of up to 70 kilos. While this makes them sizable, what really makes these lizards stand apart is their insane strength, aggressiveness, and predatory ability. They're known for being fearless. They often bring down prey that's multiple times larger than them, as they eat creatures such as deer, pigs, and water buffalo. They successfully do this by ambushing their prey and clamping down on them with a venomous bite. In doing so, they manage to inhibit blood clotting, cause muscle paralysis and hypothermia, and then, by extension, induce shock and loss of consciousness in their envenomated prey. As a result, they really do pack a punch, and from time to time, they use that punch to bring down humans. And while there are many crazy stories surrounding Komodo dragon attacks, some are crazier than others. For example, in 2008, a group of scuba divers got stranded in a tide, and after 10 hours, ended up on Rinka Island, which is home to 1,300 Komodo dragons. To their misfortune, these Komodo dragons quickly picked up on the new visitors, and one in particular began to relentlessly attack one of the women in the group. For two treacherous days, the scuba divers warded off the Komodo dragon while signaling for help, eating raw shellfish for nourishment and throwing rocks at the Komodo's head to keep it at bay. And while their efforts were quite strenuous, after their two days of hell, they were finally found by an Indonesian rescue boat. Best of all, everyone in the group miraculously lived to tell the tale, making this an example of an awful, yet thankfully non-lethal encounter. Number 1. The Golden Lancehead while a single golden lancehead snake is dangerous in its own right, the context of their living situation makes them immensely more dangerous than they would appear at first glance. Considered to be one of the most venomous snakes in Latin America, the golden lancehead has a fatality rate of between 0.5 and 7% based on whether or not the bite it delves out is treated, although no matter the treatment, it can induce terrible symptoms such as bloody vomit and urine, intestinal bleeding, kidney failure, severe muscle tissue necrosis, and hemorrhage in the brain. However, what makes the Golden Lancehead truly deadly is the fact that it lives on one singular overpopulated island. Officially known as Ilha de Camara Grande, or better known as Snake Island, it's located off the coast of Sao Paulo in Brazil and is by most accounts home to between one to five Golden Lanceheads per square meter. 
This makes any meaningful human population on the island practically impossible, yet for years it was populated by one single family. That's because for many decades a lighthouse on the island prevented ships from wrecking in the area, and the keeper of that lighthouse was forced to stay in isolation there with his family for months if not years at a time. However, ever since the island's one lighthouse was automated in the 1920s, no humans have lived on the island long term. Nowadays, its surrounding waters are patrolled by the Brazilian Navy, who permit no one to enter with the exception of small groups of scientists, as those groups will travel there for research purposes from time to time. In any case, what makes the Golden Lance Head truly interesting is that despite all these protections, the Golden Lance Head is actually considered to be critically endangered. As due to its lack of presence anywhere else on the planet, one single storm or natural disaster could easily lead to the population dying out. Yet, given how dangerous they are, it's probably best that the Golden Lance Head is not introduced to any new areas. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.